There are mistakes which some persons have made and since I've discovered that I've decided to create this video to correct that uh, mistake. Well, it really, as it sounds, uh, it may not mean that it's uh, a mistake, but there are other better ways of handling such issues when it comes up. Now, some persons, after having delegated their call to uh, uh, one or two of these uh, validators, you know, if they want to uh, undelegate their call from those uh, validators, they go through the process of undelegating. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you another way, another better way how to do that. Okay, if you are not satisfied with the commissions or the APR of a validator anymore, I mean the validator to whom you have delegated your call to, you simply transfer the coin or the, the, the amount of call which you've delegated to the validator to another desired uh, validator. Okay, guys. So, do not, do not, uh, 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 do not, on delegate your call, rather you transfer. Now, what are the reasons? If you undelegate your call from a validator, of course you have to pay for some charges, transaction charges. Okay? But when you transfer your call from one validator to another validator, you are not going to pay any transaction fee and it saves you that transaction fee. Okay, guys. Now, let's quickly dive into the video, into the process. Okay. Now, after having taken a good study of all these validators, okay, let's take, for instance, you delegated to validator 1 and you want to, you are no more comfortable with validator 1, you want to transfer to uh, validator uh, 12. It is very, very simple. Okay. Now, you want to move your call from this validator to this uh, validator. Now, how do you do that? Let's take for instance. Now, let me go to my staking, okay, so that you see the number of calls that I have delegated and uh, other processes that will follow. Now, I'll click on these three horizontal lines at the right hand side. Then, I'll click on my staking, okay, this, I'll click on my staking. Now, this will lead me to this page. Okay, now, this has shown uh, the total number of calls which I have delegated. Now, the number of validators to whom I have delegated my call and the total reward which I have gotten from both this and this. Okay, now the total of code that I have gotten for delegating to these uh, two uh, validators. Now, here are the validators. Let us scroll up. These are the, valid the validators that I have delegated my coin to. Okay, now let us check to see the details. Now, let's take the first one, okay, because the name can't appear here. So, I click on it. Now, I delegated to validator 5, DAO validator 5, okay. And also, let's go back. Let's go back, okay. Now, the second one, this is validator 2, you understand. So this is the number of call which I delegated to validator uh, two. Let me show you. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Now, this is the number of call which I delegated to validator two, and this is the total number of call I delegated to validator uh, fifth. Is that fifteen? No, validator five. Yeah, validator five. Okay. So. I want to transfer this, uh, this two coin which I have here. I want to transfer it to validator eleven. Okay, I want to transfer it to validator eleven. Now, if you want to get the details, here are the details are displayed on this uh, on this table. The details of the validators they are displayed on this table. Okay, this is uh, these are their commissions, the commission you uh, uh, the commission percentage. Okay, this is the reward rate. Okay, then this is the total coin delegated to them. 
okay now this is the reward which i have gotten okay now this is the action uh button now i want to move this uh this two call which i delegated to uh, this validator this validator two i want to move it to to i want to transfer it to validator 11. but before that please take note of this do not make this mistake now already you have a reward here before you transfer your delegated coin from one validator to another you make sure that you claim your reward by clicking on this claim button because if you do not do so you may likely lose your reward from that validator you understand so right now i'm going to click on this button to claim my reward first before i transfer my coin to another validator so i'll click on claim wait for confirmation okay i'll click on confirm it's coming up okay the transaction has been submitted the transaction has been submitted okay very good very good now i'll click on the close button now i'll click on close so i have claimed my reward okay i have claimed my reward don't mind these um i think i explained this in my previous video don't mind this okay you see i've claimed the reward and it's still appearing it has uh, i've already claimed it so it has added up to the total number of core which i have uh here okay so let's proceed let's proceed now remember this is what i want to i want to transfer this to another validator and remember this is from i delegated to validator 2 okay i delegated 2 core to validator 2 so now what i'll simply do is i'll come here i'll come here and click on on delegate button now here are two options on delegate and transfer okay now i am not going to click on on delegate okay now what i'll click on now is on transfer you understand so let me click on transfer now here is a provision this drop down arrow when you click on it you see different validators will appear then on that page you now select the validator to whom you want to delegate or transfer your core to okay now let me click on this drop down arrow you see now remember i said i want to delegate to validator 11 okay now this is validator 11 so i'll click on it dao validator 11 i'll click on it okay now this is his uh, address the validator's address then i'll click on transfer i'll wait for confirmation okay guys then i'll click on confirm okay now i'll close it the transaction has been submitted okay now before i proceed let me clear this okay so i don't want you to get confused i don't want you to get confused now initially um initially i told you that uh there will be a transaction yes now on if you want to undelegate okay if you want to undelegate before you delegate to another validator you have to uh, spend transaction charges on two occasions one on if you want to undelegate and secondly if you want to delegate to another uh, validator you understand okay now let's take for instance let me try to uh let me click on on this first on delegate okay so that you see it let's say on delegate you see i'm going to pay for transaction fee you understand so let me reject i don't want to do it now i'm going to pay for transaction fee for on delegating and i'm also going to pay for transaction fee for Redelegating to another uh, validator. Okay, guys. Now let me refresh this page. Let's go back. Okay. Let me come back to this. Uh, let me click these three horizontal lines. Click on my staking. Okay. Now take a look. Take a look. Okay. Now let us check this last one. This one here. 
let us check to see what validator you see this is validator 2 you understand this is validator 2 now and you see this delegate button appears here that means i can delegate to validator 2 but when you take a look let's go back remember it was the last one i clicked when you take a look at this let's go okay look at it here look at it here so i'm going to scroll from uh from right to left as you can see there is no coin which i have here and remember this is uh for validator 2 which i just transferred coin from so i don't have any coin here again with validator 2 now it has now come to validator 11 which is at the second row now let us click on this uh, second row to see the validator there you see now it is validator 11 you understand this is validator 11 so i have transferred the two coin which in each initially i delegated to validator or uh, validator 2 to validator 1 instead of on delegating from validator 2 and then delegating to validator uh, 1 sorry validator 11 okay guys so this is how to do it okay that is how to do it you don't need to on delegate okay simply what you need to do is you transfer okay you transfer now and make sure when you are on delegating make sure that you have taken a good look you have taken a study of the validator to whom you want to delegate your call to okay now as you can see as you can see the reward rate here this is the commission for both okay sorry now this is the commission for both which is for five percent and this is the reward rate of course you should know that in this case you are going to earn more than this okay guys now i just use this as an example okay always look for a validator that has a higher reward and a lesser commission you understand now in my subsequent videos i am going to show you how to choose validators how to choose a, a, a good validator that will give you a reasonable amount of reward okay for these validators used in this video is just for illustration purpose you understand so make sure you take a good look at the reward rate and the commission percentage of all the validators before you delegate your call to now obviously as it appears on this screen um it shows that i am going to end this exercise that i did here if i am to leave it like this it means that i am going to the the value of reward that i'm going to get will depreciate okay it will depreciate from 103 percent to 84 percent you understand so like i said earlier this video is just for illustration purpose okay so that is how to do it guys if this is your first time of visiting my youtube channel click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel give a thumbs up to my video feel free to share my video if you have any question at all like i always say feel free to drop your question at the comment section and i am going to respond to those uh, questions i will also drop my whatsapp link okay my whatsapp group link i'm going to do, drop it in the group uh, in the description so that you can quickly uh, join my whatsapp group engage yourself in the discussions therein okay if you have any question you can chat me up in my whatsapp uh, in my whatsapp group so by this video i believe uh, you've understood the steps of transferring your coin or your call your delegated call from one validator to another okay guys there is no need for you to undelegate always try to transfer okay it pays more to transfer than to undelegate so guys this is the end of my video i hope to see you in my next video remember to give a thumbs up to my video and to subscribe to my youtube channel anticipate for more updates